Good morning, I'm Evangelist Matthew and welcome to today's edition of From Heaven at Seven. Family, the portion of scripture we're going to be reading from today comes from the book of Proverbs chapter 10 verse 31 to 32 from the New Living Translation and it reads as follows. The mouth of the godly person gives wise advice, but the tongue that deceives will be cut off. The lips of the godly speak helpful words, but the mouth of the wicked speak perverse words. Family, isn't that just so true that the mouths of the godly give wise advice? As we've been working through the book of Proverbs, we've been discussing wisdom and how the fear of the Lord is the beginning of the wisdom. The fear, the reverential respect for the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Therefore, if we are godly, we revere the Lord, we respect the Lord, we love the Lord, and consequently, we will walk in the wisdom of God. Therefore, that is why the scripture says that the godly people will give wise advice. Those of us who have chosen to follow in God's ways, to cho- have chosen, chosen to follow in God's wisdom will be able to give good and godly advice and this is important family for us to do as Christians is God has given each of us different pieces of his wisdom and it all forms part of an integral puzzle that is God's entirety of his wisdom so when we are struggling with something when we have questions it's important for us as Christians to go to our fellow believers to our Christian friends and family to our pastors to our church leaders whoever it may be that you need to go to it's important that we go to them to seek wisdom from God to seek Seek counsel from God so that God can speak his wisdom through them, family. And it is in this way that the Bible says that iron sharpens iron, that we lift up one another and exhort one another and encourage one another and pray for one another and all these kinds of things. If we are struggling with things, if we have questions about God and questions about the kingdom of God, it's pointless that we sit there and keep quiet about it. It's important that we ask our good and godly friends to give us that wisdom, to impart that wisdom to us, to help us with the questions that we have so that we too can grow in God. God's wisdom and we can grow therefore in our relationship with the Lord and allow God to do more and accomplish more in us and through us family so the wisdom of God is very important in our lives and it's important to tap into the wisdom of God in the Christian friends and stuff that we have around us as well family but it's not the same for the wicked because it says that the tongue of the wicked will be cut off it will be silenced in the long run family if you go and read the Bible and you know what's lying ahead at the second coming of Jesus and thereafter, the tongues of the wicked will be silenced once and for all. They will not be able to speak anymore, family. And it's the same as well. When we have people that are speaking out against us, when we have evil tongues that are speaking out against us, we need to pray that the Lord silences those tongues because the la- the Bible says that life and death lie in the power of the tongue. And we cannot afford to have people declaring negative words and curses over us, family, declaring death over us. So we, when we pray, for these things we need to pray that the lord silences all the tongues that are speaking out against us family and it goes on there to say that the lip of the lips of the godly speak helpful words as i've been saying the the wisdom that we receive from the good and godly friends that are around us the wise godly counsel that we receive it's it's good advice it's helpful it helps us to grow in our relationship with the lord and the things of the lord and it helps us to grow in our walk in everyday life and the things of life family god imparts this wisdom to us But he doesn't always give it to us directly. He'll often do it to us, speak it to us through other people, family. And it goes on there to say, but the mouth of the wicked speaks perverse words. It speaks corruption. It speaks lies. It speaks deceit, all these kinds of things. That is what the mouths of the wicked speak, family. So who are you getting your advice from? I want to ask you that. Are the people that you are trusting to get advice from, is it good and godly friends or Christian leaders or pastors or, you know, pastors and stuff that you see on TV? Or is it wicked people, earthly people, people in the world, worldly TV shows, worldly reality shows, where are you getting your advice? Where are you getting your principles that you want to base your life on? Are you getting it from the world or are you getting it from God, family? Because if it's from the world, we're in a we're in very dangerous territory, family. We need to be getting our direction for life from directly from God and from our Christian friends and family around us to help keep us accountable on the plan, will, and purpose that God has for our lives so that we can grow to be more and to do more for his kingdom and his glory. So I want to encourage you going forward, family, to choose carefully who you spend your time with, who you seek advice from, who you seek counsel from, what kind of news you listen to, what kind of things you read. Choose these things carefully, family, so that the wisdom of God can be speaking into your life instead of the wisdom of the world, because the wisdom of the world corrupts. It's perverse, and it's it's not what God wants for us, family. Thank you, family. I hope that this message has blessed you and encouraged you and given you some food for thought. And before I end, I'd just like to close in prayer. Father God, we come to you in Jesus' name. Lord, we thank you for this day, that this is the day that you've made and we can rejoice and be glad in it. Lord, I thank you for each and every single person listening 
myself included, Lord, that you are doing a work within us, Lord, to help grow us in your wisdom, Lord, so that we can be good at giving counsel, wise, godly counsel to those around us, Lord. But we pray, Lord, that as well, when we are going through things, when we are going through struggles, when we have questions, Lord, that you will help give us the boldness and the courage that we need to be able to speak up and ask questions, Lord, so that you can speak to us through others as well, Lord, so that we can grow in your wisdom, Lord, so that we can go from strength to strength, from glory to glory, and from victory to victory, Lord. And I pray, Lord, that you will help each and every single person listening, myself and Included, Lord, to take our advice from you, from your word, from our Christian friends and family and leaders around us, Lord, and not from the world, Lord, because the, the views of the world, the wisdom of the world corrupts us, Lord. Bad company corrupts good character, Lord, and we don't want to be corrupted by the things of this world. We want to be uplifted and grown in good character by your word and by your wisdom. Thank you, Lord, for all the wisdom that you impart to us and how you help us to apply it in our daily lives. And we give you, Lord, all the praise, the glory, and the adoration for all that you're doing and accomplishing in us and through us. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Thanks for watching my video. I trust that the message blessed you and encouraged you. And if it did, I'd like to ask you to please hit the share button to spread this message and share it with your friends and family on social media so that they too may be blessed by this message. And before you leave, please give this video a thumbs up, drop a comment, let me know what you think about the contents of the video. And I'd like to invite you to please come back and join me for more episodes of From Heaven at 7, which premiere live every Monday to Friday at 7 a.m. Central African time on my Facebook page as well as my YouTube channel where the replays of the videos remain for those who are unable to watch the live premiere. If you watch this message today and were touched by this message and feel like you want to give your heart to the Lord and make the decision to accept Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, I would love to invite you to please click on the link in the description of this video that says salvation. And if you watch this message and felt blessed by it and feel led to sow a seed into the ministry, I'd like to encourage you to please click on the link in the description of this video that says giving. Alternatively, at the bottom of the screen right now is the ministry's banking details as well as our Snapscan QR code. And lastly, I would just like to ask you to please go and like and follow all my social media accounts if you haven't already to be kept up to date and in the loop with everything that's happening in the ministry and every time we upload a video just like this one. Thank you family. Enjoy the rest of your day and God bless. Yeah, 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 yeah.